Today we're taking a look at probably one of the most notable species on the rocky shore. This is Pagorus bernardus and obviously it's the hermit crab. There are a few species of hermit crab in the UK but the most common one you'll come across is this one which is the common hermit crab. One of the first things you'll notice on closer inspection is how many colours this animal has. It's got reddy browns running all through the body with greens and oranges dotted around it. This is quite common in a lot of crabs, but you'll notice that their right claw is much bigger than their left one. That larger claw has two main purposes. One is self-defence, and the other is for when it goes back into the shell. It uses that huge claw to block off the entranceway like its own personal door. You'll also notice that long antenna-like nose. It wiggles this around to sniff the air, but also will drag it across the floor and across any prey to make sure it's safe. Size-wise, they grow about 3 to 3.5 centimetres, and they've been found in the sea at 150 metres depth. They are what's known as opportunistic scavengers. They don't actively hunt their food, but let's say a larger crab killed some prey, and the hermit crab came across it, it would sit and feast on the carcass of that for a while. This is a pretty smart evolutionary adaptation. The crab knows it's not really going to kill anything bigger than itself, so lets other things do the job and conserves energy. Like humans with clothes, eventually the hermit crab will outgrow its shell and need to find a new one. Now most of the time they'll crawl around until they find an unused, undamaged shell that they can fit inside of and continue growing in. On the odd occasion, one hermit crab will come across another hermit crab and decide it wants its shell. The hermit crab who wants the shell will use its big claw to knock on the other hermit crab's shell, forcing it out, and they will then fight until a winner is decided, and the winner, obviously, gets the shell. It's basically like somebody coming to your front door, knocking on it, and offering you out for a fight just because they really like your house. It's a really brutal way of deciding things, but it's just the crab's nature. So I think I've bothered this little crab enough now, let's put him back where I found him. Remember, you can join me every second Wednesday at 6pm for another Life in the Rock Pool. I'll see you guys soon.